All right, so it's been a bit since we have run one of these sessions. And so we're going to start off. I've got a several Excel demos we're going to be doing. So look for a number of posts in a row coming. But the first one we're going to do is something very simple. So if you're like me, you may hate uh, working in Excel. I really do. <laughs> I'm not an Excel jockey, never have been. That's not my forte. Uh, but I do have to frequently do reporting and other activities out of there. So the first thing that I'm going to show is how we can actually start to visualize data within Excel very quickly using Copilot for Microsoft 365. We make it simple and in the flow of work. And for those of us who need to take views like this of a whole bunch of sales data, um, it's very easy to go ahead and do so. The first stipulation though that you need to know is that this particular view here, it needs to be in a table. Surprised me to learn that oftentimes people build out spreadsheets that are not in a table. If you don't have it in a table and we go to use Copilot, it will prompt you to uh, put that into a table. So ours is already there. We're going to go ahead and select the Copilot icon up here, right within the taskbar, and it's going to come up and it's going to have some suggestions for us. Things like creating and adding formula columns. We're going to do some of these in subsequent videos. Edit. Um, you know, and highlight information, sort and filter, uh, analyze and understand. What I'm going to do is very simply say, I want to see data insights. So we're going to go ahead and select that. And right now, Copilot is running through all the data, trying to understand it. As it begins to understand, it's going to spit out the very first of a possible series of visualizations of that data. But you'll see when it does, it will continue to run as it continues to analyze the entire spreadsheet. And there we are, see, it's still running. It's gonna actually give an explanation of this when it's finished. Here's the data insight by COGS for date. So it's provided this particular uh, visualization that's there and I could s simply click here and add it to the sheet. Um, or I might wanna say, you know, what? show me another insight, but notice what it does. Boom. When I select that, it's instantaneous now. Why? Because it's already finished understanding the full sum of the data, and it's able to spit that out very quickly. So I can continue to do that, and I can add these, you know, ad hoc um, to, to sheets if I were uh, to want to. But I could also go in and say, and it provides me that suggested uh, prompt, add all insights to the grid. So I'm going to go ahead and do so. It's going to now create that uh, pivot uh, table for me. If I scroll on down, you'll see here it is. We've got our pivot table where we can slice and dice the information. You know, so all of this is editable and selectable. It's also created a range of visualizations of the data. Again, editable, and I can change those if desired. But very quickly, instead of fumbling back and forth and trying to get the views the way I want them, et cetera, I'm able to get some compelling views that I could then show to my management if I had to report on this financial data around COGS. And this could be for anything, right? Any kind of data that we're looking at. So the, the prerequisites are, first of all, that the data here needs to be in a table. Then when we, <coughs> excuse me, we select the show insights, it'll go ahead, do its thing, give us an individual one. And then I have the option to select, which I did up here, add all insights to the grid. That's what I do because then it's all done, right? And I can go ahead, slice and dice, do what I'd like to do, et cetera. Notice, I just wanted to call this out as well. This kind of highlights what I was talking about earlier. Select data in an Excel table. I only work in an Excel table. Um, so this is the what it'll at, tell you if, in fact, you did not have the proper information. But um, we've already got it in a table. It gives you how to convert yours into a table, though, if need be. That's it. I hope you found this at, uh, helpful. Uh, slicing and dicing some data. We'll be providing, again, some additional videos very shortly on Excel. With that, this is Mike Giannotti saying have a great day. Take care, and as always, ciao.